Three. This is It Takes Three, the podcast where three friends get together each week with drinks and we talk about all of the things. And it's light out again today. It's daytime. It's daytime still for us. I feel like we recorded so long. (sighs) I guess we did. We did. We had a snowstorm. Right. Things happen. This one we're recording late. Yeah. Yeah. We usually record them much earlier. This is going, we're recording the night before we post the episode. That's right. So fresh. We got it. It's fresh. Super fresh. Super fresh, hot off the press. It the really podcast is. Podcast press. Podcast Ooh, I like press. That. That's yeah. really cute, actually. That the is podcast cute. press. Thanks, guys. Write that down. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Ingrid, by the way. I'm Liz, by the way. I'm Michelle. <laughs> by the way. I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle. I'm my pen. She was getting her pen for her notes. What's our beverage this week, Ingrid? Oh, Do you well. remember the brand? Funk Town. Funk Town. Funk Town. It's a rosé. Um, it is a very lovely rosé from Very Wink. light. So if you like wine and you would like a discount and you like wine delivered to your door, check out our link down below. Yeah, it's a code. It takes it's a nice. Yeah, it's not. Take a it's code. not a code. It's not a code. Nope, it's, it's a, a link. link. Just follow the link. Just the go link. down Happy. down there. Click the link. You'll get free shipping $20 and twenty dollars off. off. And yeah. you take a fun quiz and it gives you um, choices of wine that will cater to your taste buds pretty much are you guys Peters. liking the the two reds the two whites yes because yeah. you could do all red you could do oh. all white no i, I like the variety Me personally I but too. you guys Spices might like up. something different so take no. the quiz oh yeah I oh yeah like yep. no i meant <laughs> like <laughs> you guys out there listening <laughs> you guys listening you to lovely us folks that listen uh, every week thank you seriously you're the best so have some wine on us please oh. do um but yeah this rosé is very refreshing uh, perfect for this Tuesday that felt like a Monday. It did. It was what a really long the Tuesday. Heckles. I don't get it. It was bad. We were texting each other all day today. Yeah. Just I felt like it. I was stuck in a black hole mm-hmm. of just the never too. ending the day. never ending day. Yeah, it was and then bad. I was talking to other my friend Brittany was having a bad day. Tim was having a bad day. I'm like, I think it's too. I think it's today. Nicole at work had a bad headache all day. Ugh. I was like, it, it must be because it feels like a Monday. Yeah, it felt like a Monday. It was bad. I wonder why that is. But at least tomorrow, and which is when you're listening to this, yeah. it's already we're halfway through the week. Hump That's day. Right. It is hump day. So, whew. and yeah. wine makes it all better. Wine so. does help. It helps. Okay. It I know. Today I was like, I hope the girls want to drink wine yeah, because I, was I, it too. I, I also it. was sending you guys signals. I'm like, I hope they want the rosé. Yeah. 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 I really I like, want the rosé. I really, whichever was fine. But any type have of you wine. seen the wolfer estate we saw it in the liquor store i pointed mm-hmm, out to mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. it's their their cider but it's rose oh yeah uh-huh it looks so, so we should just beautiful. get it one day we should it just I looks know. so pretty let's get it okay let's, okay let's next time do it's it. just so pretty yeah i agree let's I, go are you right I, yeah okay? i'm good I'm your good. eyeball she got you? excited I she got really excited her eye was too excited and her eye almost fell out Aww. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're chugging along. Here we are. Did you have a good birthday, Liz? I did. Good. I'm glad. Thank you guys. I'm glad it was a great birthday. As, as I wanted, we watched, um, Halloween Town. We did. I finally saw Michelle it. Michelle saw that it. cherry's and been popped. She yep. asked me when we can watch the second. So <gasps> I think she liked wow. it. Of course I liked it. <laughs> I, I knew I was going to like it. It was, wasn't it just fun to be like reminiscent? Yes. I mean, for us, but right. it was fun to like watch a movie that's from the late nineties that. Perfect. Always. So amazingly yeah. horrible that you just love yeah. every but minute of it. I, I honestly think it it's not that horrible. No, it wasn't. No. Debbie Reynolds no, is a gem. She's queen. She's queen. Yeah. Um, it's no, it's not nearly as bad as some of the decoms that are out there as far as acting goes or like transitions or anything. There's some I rough mean, ones. There's some rough ones. This one is a classic that I if you've seen it, you know you love it. There's I've never met a person if they've seen it, they don't love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just glad I now get it. You get yes, it. Yes, Thank Jay. you, guys. We're enriching your life. You're on the DCAM, soon, DCOM yeah. wagon. Yeah. I still want to watch Xenon, though. I, I was just yes. going to say, soon we can watch Xenon. We were all a bit tired, you know, living that 30-year-old life <laughs> and wanted yep. to go 29. to bed. 20? I mean, but it's like 30. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see it's when almost. you have to I say know. 30. I know, I know. You'll be I like, know. I wish I was 20. I wish I was 20. Again. I mean, I we, we talk more. about this all the time. I probably won't even realize that I'm 29 until I'm turning 30. I'm like, oh, I'm 29. Right. And, oh, like, and then in two and days, I'll be turning 30. JK, now I'm 30. Yeah. yeah. 
That sucks. But thank you, everyone, for wishing me a happy birthday. Yeah. And um, it was a good one. Yes, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday, too. Yes. Yay, All so many birthdays. We have some nice subscribers that reached yeah. out to us. So thank you. Lovely. Fun. Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Ingrid, um, you're super excited. Ingrid's so excited, excited that she just has to just, just, just say the topic. I just want to do the topic. You have to scream it from the rooftop. <laughs> ah! Okay, so <laughs> currently, right now, the internet is at war because... Oh no! Face. Do you have the same thing as me? Yes, I do. The, the Disney? bracket, the Disney yes! bracket. <laughs> I saw that too. Oh my god! I'm so oh. excited though. I'm glad that we can talk about it. Okay, so I really talk about it. it was funny. Right before we recorded, we were all kind of looking at each other because I was really excited about my topic, but so was Liz and Michelle. And then I was like, "How funny would it be if we have the same topic?" Michelle, that's not you your topic. You guys are going to crack topic? up at what mine is <laughs> oh. because it's. So far <laughs> off. Yeah. So far off. So I guess listen, I, I have this same. To talk about. Do you have the BuzzFeed article? I don't have the article. I just okay. have the bracket and I figured we could just do the bracket because together. Because the BuzzFeed article is <laughs> actually really funny and pretty spot on as to what I was feeling. So. All right. So I figured we can do the bracket together now. Yeah. And discuss what, you know, hopefully we can all, the three of us can put together this bracket. So, okay. So if you don't know what a bracket is, if you don't know sports right now, March madness is happening with basketball. Um, and so someone put together a Disney versus Pixar basketball type bracket. So they put together all of like a bunch of Disney movies and, uh, Pixar movies. And you kind of are forced to make a choice as to if they were to compete against each other which would win and you break it down until you have the final two and then you have the final movie. So I figured it would be funny because we we're should all totally do this. This is so much fun. It's we're all Disney and Pixar fans. Um, even if you haven't seen any, you some can of them, get a you can kind of get a, a what yeah. they're about. We'll, right. we'll work it out. So are we ready to dive I'm in? I'm ready. Okay. Ready. I figured we'll do the Disney side first, then Pixar and we'll go back and forth until we like have we the final two. Are you going to write the visual, Michelle? If you want to uh. write down um, the ones that are, gonna be versing each other and i'll just keep listing listing them we'll we'll work it out we'll, as we work, go. we'll figure it okay out. but i'm my, my struggle too. yes <laughs> i got you i got <laughs> you i've seen the okay. visual okay go ahead okay hold on i just of course right as we're about to do it I closed out of the picture okay mm -hmm. first one is lion king versus tarzan lion, lion king. king i think lion king takes it as much as i love the music in tarzan, yeah. tarzan lion king i think sweeps yeah in this yeah. one yeah hands down i think tarzan's out yeah we agree yeah agree all right lion king takes that one um princess and the frog and lilo and stitch i've actually never seen either of them <gasps> you've <gasps> never seen lilo and stitch oh my God. it was like oh. so Lane's oh. family i i remember a lot about it. i'm gonna say lilo and stitch by default but um i just oh no yeah, it was a little bit like after no. when we were older no. right let me I think my, my sister for sure princess watched and the it. frog that's way after, after. yeah which that's is an adorable movie 2002 for lilo and stitch oh really yeah, yeah. Right, so i was in eighth, eighth grade getting in eighth grade yeah right. so i know we're voting as a group I I either I could go either way actually. So uh, yeah. you guys can choose. What do you what well, are you thinking? Well, what what are your thoughts? Give your well, your input. Well, the thing is, I really to me they're kind of equal. Okay. In my mind, I I really enjoyed both movies. Okay. And I'm not sure who, if I had to choose, mm -hmm. like what in my head, which one I'd want to watch or which one would win. I, I honestly, I'd be happy with either one. So either I, one? I can't be the same choice. I'm going to go with Lilo and Stitch on okay. this one. Yeah. Only because Princess and the Frog was good. Yeah. But it's Lilo and... I love Lilo and I Stitch. Know. I know. Stitch is just... I love it, Stitch, too. It was... Okay. So we're giving it to Lilo. We're giving uh, it Lilo to Lilo. Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Yep. Um, this one's really hard. Oh. Tangled. Big Hero 6. <gasps> Fuck. Okay. I have a, I have a choice. Okay, what's I'm your vote? I'm going to choose Tangled because we saw it together. <laughs> yeah, Tangled. I feel like Tangled's really underrated. Oh, totally Anyone agree. else agree that... Because Lissy's never seen it. Fuck, Liss. <laughs> killing me. she loves me never. anymore. Uh, I've also never seen, seen Big Hero 6. Big Fuck. Hero 6. <gasps> but I did watch I Tangled. Just I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps. Oh my God, Big Hero 6. It cried. Did you cry? Yes. I cried. Oh, of course cried. I cried. You cried at every Disney movie. But, oh... 
man. Okay, remember those movie nights we have to do for mm-hmm. Patreon? I know a lot we of gotta, Disney movies. We gotta on add that. a lot of Disney. I have to. I have to be honest. I watched the last half hour of Tangled, and I really enjoyed it. Okay, but I feel like I kind of cheated because I already like know. But well, I, I, mean, I kind of don't remember. I remember it being really cute, and I was like, "Well, Alyssa, why have you not watched this? You love Mandy Moore, and you love Josh Levy. Like, what's wrong with yeah. you?" Yeah. <sighs> so I'm. I definitely am all about watching it. Okay. Big Hero Six. Oh, what's it, that one about? It's <sighs> it's got that big thing Phoenix, in it, right? right? It's yeah. Like yeah. Oh my oh god, big god. thing it's, in it. He's, it's, it's so sweet. It is a sweet but fun but heart wrenching yeah. movie. Yeah, heart wrenching. Sweet, they fun, and heart wrenching. Oh man, it, it's Ugh. it's really good. I'm gonna watch Tangled though. I know we all have to be. This is I yeah. I mean Tangled for sure would get my. I'm gonna give it to Tangled. I, it's it's close. close. It's really fucking totally close. close. Yeah. This is like it's like if this was a game, it's like the buzzer went off and Tangled got that last shot. Yeah. Like. Yep. The, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I totally agree with you. Because BB. Oh man. Big Hero Six good is good. One. All right, yeah. we're we're giving it to Tangled we on that are. one. Yeah. Okay. Frozen versus Moana. Oh, that one's so hard. It's Moana, really fucking hard. Moana. I I'm. Go ahead, See, guys. I feel See, like okay. I'd rather. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard because, of course, as you know, Lynn Manuel is my soulmate, and I love. I really do love Moana and the feels, but I feel like Frozen was like. It just blew up, it and did. it was such mm-hmm. a huge movie that I don't know. I my enjoyed reason, Moana more. My reasoning, I think, is Frozen because when I watched Moana, I was so moved to tears that I feel like I can't watch it again because I don't want to cry again. Right. Does that make sense? And in, in Frozen, yeah. I definitely cried like towards the end with the whole sister thing. Like I, I really felt that. Yeah. But it's lighter. To me, uh-huh. and I prefer and lighter I feel than like heavier. And even I though Moana right. was fucking amazing, and the music is insane, and like the everything, is and amazing. it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. beautiful. But I feel like w- if chicken. you compare it, if you compare, I know, hey, hey, I if know. you, but if you compare, I don't know, because when Frozen came out, I feel like Frozen was the one that kind of started paved. paved the way for these mm. new kind it paved of the way for like people girl empowerment type Disney. <sighs> And also, you know, it, got me it just watching changed the newer it. movies. Like, obviously, like I haven't right. watched. I, I think I talked about this a while ago, but like the last movie I remember actually seeing from Disney was Finding Nemo. Holy and so shit. I and I was <laughs> oh lot, my I was even God. older then. Oh. And guys, I Adele, like Adele cartoons. Dazim. Adele Dazim. <laughs> well, she's phenomenal. <laughs> and Kristen Adele Bell. And Kristen I know. Bell. And just that even like just let I know, it go it's is really so hard. epic. And let it go is just. It, but like, what's what's the other one? The Moana one. Moana. It, Moana's what, great. What and I love it. Called? But I feel like head to head with each other. I, I think th- th- how far up. I'll go. Uh, I could not think of what right. the song was. <laughs> I feel like All right. Frozen, Frozen takes All right. it. I know. Two against, it's but tough. Two against the one. So it's tough. Hard. It's tough. So, so Not hard. that I don't like Frozen, but I no. enjoyed Moana. All right. I know what you guys are going to say for this one. Okay. Aladdin. It wins already. Yeah, right? Like <laughs> versus Hercules. Oh, Aladdin. Hercules is also very underrated. It is Hercules underrated. is extremely That's underrated. It, it is one of my like top Disney. five it's Disney. It's definitely underrated. But Aladdin for sure. But Aladdin, Aladdin sweeps. Like To me, it starts with Aladdin. And then we yeah. go from there. Because <laughs> let's say, let's pretend that Hercules, the movie, the music wasn't as amazing. Aladdin would just yeah. d- demolish oh. either yeah. way. But yeah. I think Aladdin yeah. overall yeah. takes okay. it. Okay. We're, we're, that was a clean one. Right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Little Mermaid, Pocahontas. Little Mermaid. I th- this I is g- so hard. <laughs> I know it's hard. I for me, it just brain goes Little Mermaid. Same. One hundred percent. But uh, Pocahontas to me, here's another one. I also feel like is underrated. It definitely right. is. It is. Her. Colors of the Wind. Oh, it fucks. I, so moving. It's great. I loved Miko, <laughs> Miko so much. I had a towel. My beach towel yeah, was Miko. I had a watch. I had a Miko watch. I definitely had a lot of Pocahontas merch. Yeah. <laughs> like I used to t-shirts. practice Colors of the Wind on my recorder. <laughs> oh, oh. That's so precious. You should play that for the people one totally. day. For the people. <laughs> for the people. <laughs> for the people. 
Yeah, okay. It definitely Little, is underrated. But Little though. Mermaid is. Uh, yeah. I, come on. Yeah. Who didn't go to the beach and find a big rock and pretend to be her Who when the waves came? Do that. I was going to say that every summer. When I was a child, we go visit my grandparents in Florida. And there was a point where I would stay underwater for like as long as I could, <laughs> pretending to be her and singing the songs underwater. Underwater. <laughs> And then we're like popping up and being like nothing happened. Then I go back right. down. I like transform yeah. into her again. Yeah. When I was little obsessed. in the pool, yeah. I would, oh, yeah. we had the blow up whale and I was like, <laughs> this is this my is friend. Right. And I had Sebastian. I had all the toys in there and I would fucking, and I would purposely swim with my feet stuck together <laughs> yeah. and Ew. try to, you know, yeah. I didn't have fins. So clearly Sam I had to and do I, it. We just always pretend we were mermaids. Right. Totally. And it's sentimental. That was the first movie my mom ever took me to in the theaters. Right. When I was a kid. So I think Little Mermaid takes yeah. it. No. Yeah. No. You're right. You're right. Uh, Next one is Mulan. <gasps> Zootopia. Mulan. Mulan. Zoo- what the fuck is Zootopia? Oh, Zootopia is really very good. fucking good. <laughs> and no. important. Not as it's good a as very... I Okay. So I was talking to someone at work actually about this. So I thought it was interesting that they put these two together. I do. But let's just say, let's just say, if you can try to take the connection you have with Mulan, like if you were to watch both for the first time now, I think I would pick Zootopia. I think I would still pick Mulan only because, like, never seeing it before. My connection, right? But the soundtrack, Chin Po is (laughs) Chin Po is like cutest thing ever. I know. (laughs) So so I uh, for that. I but I'm gonna give it. I'm giving it to Mulan. Yeah, same. Because of just the, it's hard because you have the connection. But my argument is, if I were to both watch both movies back to back, it has a stronger message. Zootopia would. Yeah. yeah well, Zo- Zootopia is amazing. It is yeah. such a good movie. Is there is there singing in it? No. Uh, no. Shakira has a song in it. Oh, she does. <laughs> oh, she does. She's the llama. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But um, Zootopia it's a was really, really good. good. It's and it's funny and it's smart and it has a really good message. Yeah. But we'll give it to Mulan because OG. The fucking yeah. OG. And Chimpo. And, and the soundtrack. And that the was soundtrack. My absolute favorite Disney soundtrack over Aladdin. I know that's crazy because Whoa. Aladdin is wow. Bay, but Mulan is my absolute favorite soundtrack. Wow. Sorry. Michelle's out of confused. all of I know, them, I'm, I'm gonna, I really thought shocked. I'm confused too because I thought it I mean, was it's, Aladdin it's for you. Super. I mean the the, the the amount of of space between how much I love the soundtracks is very very minuscule, very much almost almost equal. But Mulan soundtrack, I'm sorry, right, okay. has to take it for me. Wow. And I, you guys know my obsession with Aladdin. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. <laughs> okay. Okay, the last of um, Disney, Beauty and the Beast, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, uh, that's hard. But it's Beauty really and the hard. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare yeah. Again. Nightmare These two against each that's other. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess it's Far Across the Lover. Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I gotta go with Beauty and the I Beast. I know. Beauty and the Beast. Though, fucking Nightmare Before Christmas, if they had put it against, like, any of the other kind of ones that Zootopia? we had on this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would definitely give it to yeah like i would have put that over big hero like I'm yeah thinking yeah about yeah yeah but because beauty it's against beast, beauty though, and the right? beast we're getting yeah mm-hmm. nightmare's great though nightmare's so good the boogeyman the music in nightmare before oh. christmas oh so good fuck okay and that that's a movie that we watched every year yeah, for yeah, halloween totally yeah. and every year and for christmas, christmas. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was you would be, you get a double you would dust off the the vhs the big white box oh, you like yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like click click open yeah. it. Yeah. So good. All right, off to Pixar. Okay. Off to Pixar. We I go. really feel like I probably won't even have seen I know nearly any of these. Besides Toy Story. Some of, <laughs> some of them will be easy, I think. But are they Disney Pixar crossovers? Well, or are they Disney just strictly Pixar? No, Disney owns Pixar. They've always owned Pixar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There's a whole Pixar <laughs> section in Disney World. Yeah, Disney mm-hmm. bought like Pixar Story. like a long, okay. long, 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 Toy long Story time ago. Toy Story is Pixar. Yeah, because I just always know them as like Disney and Pixar's whatever. Right, because they Disney they, they like they like <laughs> teamed up, but yeah. then Disney kind of bought them out, and yeah. it just became like so Disney they're has both that the same. Gotcha. Right, right. They and, and totally and Star Wars and, and Star, Star Wars. They so own everything. They own life. Yep. They think Google's taking over. It's actually Disney. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, Brave Toy Story. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. No, incorrect. Brave and up. 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 Fucking well, up. Well, here, here's the thing. I've it's act, up. I've actually never seen Brave. 
Brave is good. Up is but awesome. I hear many amazing things about Up, okay. and I won't see it because up. I don't need to cry. I don't need to. Cry. I think I have it on DVD. So. I do too. I, I don't want to cry. Oh gosh, but, but it's, it's so good. good. It's so sweet. Uh, but you do, yeah. You yeah. No, it it definitely here, ready cries, but you, you make an cry, argument. But it, um, I don't want to spoil it. Right. Don't you cry in like the first like two minutes? Right. Of it, they they knock it. out the tears right away, but All right. um, up then it gets sure. and up then it gets takes up. it. It goes up. Yeah. Brave. There. Brave was good. It was fun. It was you we know can go, we can girl do power. Definitely do go, do um, up. But up is yeah, hundred percent. Next one is Toy Story. Versus Toy Story 2. Oh. Ooh, <sighs> I love Toy Story 2. I know. I really love Toy Story you're, 2. But part of me wants argument. to give it to the OG. Right. Because without the OG, there would be number two. Right. There wouldn't right. be number two. I don't know why they put these two together. No, it's that, not fair. Because they're, <laughs> they're pretty evil. equal. Yeah. They're pretty equal. We're going to go with OG? Yeah. I OG. think OG should take it. Okay. I agree. Okay. Next one is Coco versus Cars. Okay. I've I just watched Coco. The I feel other like Coco day. has to take over cars. How could you fucking Coco car? sweeps? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Fuck Lightning McQueen. Coco <laughs> is so. Please watch Coco. Coco it is on our list. Please watch it. It like. Ugh. I just it's never really liked cars ever. The cars. Ugh, I don't find cars cute. No. So. No. It never. Sorry to be superficial. Cars was. At all. It was okay. I give it like a five out of ten. Not even like four point five. Like a four point five. Like it was fine. Like it wasn't bad, but I just didn't care. Yeah. About right. the That's characters. How I like felt I just too. didn't care. Yeah. All right. Toy Story Three, The Good Dinosaur. Toy Story Three. I never <laughs> it's not even, even a, heard of the good dinosaur. And I fucking love dinosaurs and I'm still giving no, Toy it to Story 3 Toy was Story Three. Yeah. But Toy Story Three for sure. Toy Story Toy Three. Sure. Um like hello when they're all holding oh. on to each other <gasps> and you think they're gonna Please. fucking die. That Are was you kidding? So traumatizing. Yeah. Like Fucking bawling. Yeah. I was bawling. Yeah. I was bawling. Not okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to college and, oh, and he wants oh, to go. It's so and sweet. Can't bring his toy. Oh right. Uh, yeah. Can. It was a great one. <sighs> great way to end the year. Uh, this one's tough. Mm-hmm. This one's tough. Ratatouille, A Bug's Life. Oh, it's hard. I, this one's hard for me. <sighs> Both are really good. I saw A Bug's Life a <sighs> trillion years ago. Did you ago. see Ratatouille? No, I don't like eggplant. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. She did not just say that. I don't like eggplant. Um, The podcast is over. (laughs) We're going to end the podcast. Um, Um, Every time I I have to be honest, every time I saw commercials for it, I was like, not my thing. Oh, no. It's actually really good. It's so fun. I'm going to vote for Ratatouille. Fifel, though? No, that's not Disney. (laughs) No. I know. Fifel goes west. (laughs) See that I could get behind. I Bugs Life, that. for some reason, I connect Bugs Life with Girl Scouts. Yeah. Like I remember we go we would go to this when we were little, like I was like a brownie, I think. And we would go to this trip and we would sleep at this like science museum. And I remember that night when we were all like laying in our sleeping bags, we watched a Bugs Life. So Aww. I like automatically connected to that. When I think oh, of a bug's shit. life, I think of the three D show at Disney when they poke. Oh the yeah, uh huh. It's terrifying. I, yeah. Absolutely terrifying. I the spider. S- I think I'm gonna give it to Ratatouille. Give it to okay, Ratatouille I'm just also, because of okay, that good, fucking I'm ride. Glad. I also <laughs> yeah. agree to Ratatouille. Okay. Next is Finding Nemo, Inside Out. I never got to see Inside Out. Oh, <gasps> that's I the one know. we saw, right? Uh, with yeah. the feelings, yeah. With that the was girl, so cute. It is really cute, really good. So obviously, and also yeah. important message. Yeah, Finding Nemo. But Finding Nemo is a classic. I love Nemo so much. It that made me cry. So oh great. yeah, uh, it's very moving. But you, I mean, I didn't get to see Inside Out. And, and for I know Inside I Out it. is really good. Ingrid got me to see a card. This is before Frozen yeah. and Moana. That was like the last Pixar Disney Pixar movie that I yeah. did see. And it and was it, very. It cute. was really good. That was before Frozen. Uh no, it was after Frozen. It was after Frozen. Yeah. I think maybe I had didn't see Frozen at the time though. <laughs> yeah, I think you <laughs> saw Frozen. You were a late bloomer when I it was came a to very Frozen. Late bro- bloomer. Nemo? I think we're giving it to Nemo. Nemo. Right. Yeah, as much as that was a good movie, Nemo is got the nostalgia yeah. like totally. on its side. Totally. Yeah. Uh, this one there's no competition. Uh, Monsters Inc. Cars two. 
A Monster <laughs> Sink. Yeah. Cars 2. Oh, actually, so back when I said Coco versus Cars, it was actually Cars 2. Either way, Coco sweeps Either it. Either way. This is now Cars 1 Regular versus cars. Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Still, Monsters, Inc. sweeps Monsters, it. Monsters, Inc. is great. I love that movie. Great. Monsters, Inc. Mike, crushes Cars. Eat? It was Bo, so cute. Oh, she's so cute. I and love like that And like a movie. smart idea. Yeah. Very and smart. And very different. Yeah. I think. Different. Yeah. This I really enjoy that. This one's hard. The la- this is the last Pixar for the first round. The Incredibles versus Wally. <gasps> My vote is Incredibles. Oh, that's going to be Wally. Ooh. But I love Incredibles I never too. You didn't either. see either of them? <laughs> I was like, maybe Liz will be the tiebreaker. Mm. I saw bits and pieces of The Incredibles. That's it, though. <laughs> I'm so wow. sorry. Okay. We can, we can um, give it to Incredibles because... Well, let's let's pitch. Okay, let's pitch I know for how the movie. Much, yeah, and then I'll be the and then whoever she can gave vote. me the greatest <laughs> pitch. I really, for, the problem is, though, my arguments for both are pretty much the same in terms of I enjoyed message. them. Message. Yeah, message. Message is great. Wally with Evie. I mean, it... Wally was cute. And the fat people but just and how Incredibles it Incredibles was just so fun. Fun and just... Yeah, it's superheroes. And yeah, I, I know. know. Just for me, it was incredible. And there's the other, the new one coming out. Yep, <sighs> Sophia's in it. Sophia's right? in it. Yeah, so we can give it to Incredible. I'm okay with that. Okay, if you say so, Michelle. Because I don't have a strong, strong argument to fight against it. Okay, All right. I'm glad that you. Okay. Yeah, it's decided. Here we go. Okay, we're on to round two. Yeah. All right, so we picked. So it's Lion King versus Up, right? Is that what we would no, technically uh, Nope, do? we're still. We still have to get the you have to get the top at the each. top oh, from okay. each. So it's Lion King versus Lilo. Yeah, Lion, Lion King. King. Lion King. <laughs> Bye, Hands Lilo. Down. Bye, Lilo. <laughs> yep. And then Tangled. next one, Tangled versus Frozen. Fuck. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> that I know you tough. guys are probably gonna pick Frozen. I'm gonna pick Tangled. I feel like most people think that Tangled is so underrated that they love it more and but, they argue for it more. But Aang made a good point. How Frozen really paved the way. It did. I, you know, the pro- I enjoyed. Did Frozen. Tangled come out before Frozen though? Yeah. Yes. It did. Yeah. By the time I saw Frozen, it was so talked up. When I right. watched it, I was like, "This is a good, but it's not." It my was favorite. so because that's why because it blew up. Saturated. Insane. Like, sorry, my mic fell. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but it just exploded. Like I don't know. It made me watch it. There, that, right. Therefore, and Liz doesn't and watch. I don't watch cartoons, cartoons. or you know. Oh, man. So I really do love feel, Tangled. Whatever you guys feel, Fuck. I'm uh, okay with. I'm still gonna give it to Frozen. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Frozen's fine by me. It would win. I mean, it would win. It would win. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Aladdin, Little Mermaid. Fuck. Oh, no. no. This is that hard. is so hard. That is making me Fuck. so. It's like choosing between my children. Right. Because my th- my uh, top three Disney movies: Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. Where's Cinderella? Not no one cares about. She, she didn't classic. make it. She, didn't she make was it, too. Was she was too old school. Growing up, that really? and Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. I'm an great. offbeat kid, guys. Yeah. I don't know. You are. An You're offbeat quirky. Kid. I'm quirky. No, but I loved Cinderella. Oh, for this me, this is really hard. I'm gonna pick <sighs> Aladdin. I'm. Go- I want to say Aladdin, but when I think of Fuck. like, I want to say Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Under the sea, it's kiss great. the girl. It's all great, all Fuck. so great. Friend, friend Ursula, friend like, like me. Ursula, oh, Ursula as a villain with her like slug she. lipstick. <laughs> but the genie. I'll, I know. I know. I'll Robin. Fight to they death got for Robin Aladdin. over Robin there. Williams. I'll fight to death for Aladdin, but I sympathize so much with you about. Lady All right, Little let's Mermaid. let's vote in the v- Aladdin. Aladdin. Mermaid. All right, so Aladdin takes. But it. Little Mermaid, please know how much <laughs> I die and live for you. You're my well, second. You're I so mean, close. You just so threw close. her under the bus. I love her. I for a street to be rat. You. <laughs> That's fine. All right, I guess we'll give it to Aladdin. <laughs> um, I bet everyone's yelling at mm, the. At the uh, best. Did we vote Mulan? It's Mulan versus Beauty and the Beast. Oh, God. Another really tough one. I'm, I'm giving it to Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you didn't vote for Little Mermaid? You're right. Bye, it's Mulan. Okay. <laughs> I love Mulan so much, but Beauty and the Beast deserves it. All right. Here we go. All right. Now we're going over to Pixar. We have Up and versus Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> uh, Toy Story 3 versus Coco. Oh, I didn't see Coco. I know. Are they equal? Are they equal? <laughs> I'm trying. See, the problem is with this. Here's here's the thing, guys. I feel like 
Toy Story 3 has that, even though it came out later, it still is the connection of the toys you grew up with and the movies yeah. you grew up with. But Coco is so fucking good. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to vote Toy Story. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm Toy Story 3, boots. just because nostalgia. Okay. Uh, did Ratatouille win? It, yeah, Ratatouille and Nemo. 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 Right? Yeah. I know, it's hard. Yeah. Ratatouille is really good. Uh, then we have Monsters, Inc. And Incredibles. The Incredibles. Monsters, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Okay, okay. good. I'm Yay. glad we're all okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Next round. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, down, guys. We're getting the. We're, this is so going to give us the the last. Yeah. Yep. So it's Lion King versus Frozen. Lion King. Okay. Good. Very good, girls. Wow. So like, do not. That's, right. That's hard. Yep. I know. Lion King is yeah. epic. Yeah. Epic. And then Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a really hard. Decision. I try to just give the first answer that comes to my head at it's this point. It's a really hard decision, though. I know. All okay. right. And now Pixar. What are their our last batches? Toy Story and Toy Story Three. Toy Story. Toy Story because it's original. Yep. And then Nemo versus Monsters. Oh, I want to give it to Monsters. I want to give it to Nemo. <laughs> uh, Michelle's Michelle? the deciding. No. <laughs> oh no. She hates the <laughs> This is so hard. Pitch to me. Oh. All right. Well, Nemo. I find that Monsters, Inc. is way funnier than Nemo. It is. Right. And the concept is so way sweet. clever. And just. And it's got, I mean. Uh, what the hell is his name? Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. He's yeah. great. Purple and John Flair. Goodman. Yeah. I'm going to go with Monsters. Okay. That's fine. Because <laughs> I love, you know what also sells it? I love the attraction in Disney World. Oh yeah, that's okay. great. The comedy right. of it. Right. Yeah, okay. it's just, it's a it's just a it's a very clever movie. They did a very good job with that. All right, guys. Okay, so what are we right. down to? What are we down to? Lion King versus, versus Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh wow! Fuck. <laughs> Our eyes all just got so big. I mean, in my gut, my I'm it, going my with Aladdin. <laughs> see, my in, my first response was Lion, Lion King. King. I know. Too. Okay, so it's Lion King. But it doesn't feel that right. But it, doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. right. It doesn't feel right. The amount of emotions for both are too so much. Uh, but Lion, Lion King, King I feel like is it's an it's an epic, right? It's epic. The music Fuck. is epic. Lion King. The yeah. premise is much more significant than Aladdin. Yeah. God, so yeah. give it to Lion King. Okay. But well, Lion King. It's killing me. Toy All right. Story. What about Monsters Inc.? Toy Story. Toy Story. Yeah. Shit. So that means we have Lion King versus Toy Story? I mean, to me, this actually is pretty easy. Lion King. Lion, Lion King. King. Lion King. So that's our winner? Lion I King I guess is that's the our winner. winner. Did, how did people do with this? Who did they pick? All right. What came out on top? Let me see if I can find... Our IT3 you chooses... You have the, you have have the BuzzFeed, the BuzzFeed okay. article. It chose says, Lion King. I am pretty chill, but this Disney slash Pixar bracket movie movie bracket has is testing me. So it goes with, it has the bracket and then it's saying Lion King over Tarzan. Fine. Lilo and Stitch over Princess and the Frog. Correct. Tangled over Big Hero 6. Eh, this is tough, but okay. Moana over Frozen. Good. But Hercules over Aladdin. Full stop, folks. Absolutely not. No. (laughs) So I guess this is how this picture, this original picture, they have um, Monsters Inc. winning. So... Overall, overall, right? Because it's the circle in the middle. Yeah. What? what were the What were their final two? So their final two was Mulan versus Monster Zang. How the fuck How did, did they, they get, get there? there? Who did this? How right? old are these people? Um, are these young millennials or old millennials? Um, this is bad, but okay. The Little Mermaid beating Pocahontas is fine, and so is Mulan beating Zootopia. But if you think The Nightmare Before Christmas is a better movie than Beauty and the Beast, then do I have some news for you, bud? It isn't. <laughs> Damn. Now, in the next round, The Lion King beats Lilo and Stitch, which is fine. Mulan beats The Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank all that is righteous and good. But The Tangled beats Moana, and worse still, Hercules overtakes The Little Mermaid. How dare they? That's crazy. And then in the worst twist yet, Tangled beats The Lion King. And just don't understand what these choi- what world these choices take place in. Ugh. So this bracket is telling me that the two best Disney animated movies are Mulan and Tangled. Are we in opposite land? Is this a life simulation? Are we kidding? But fine. <laughs> Whatever. Mulan won, which is livable. 
Um, wow. And then it says, now on the Pixar side, this is where things get truly bonkers. Up beats Brave. Toy Story yes. 2 beats Toy Story. And the Cars 3 beats Coco. Cars 3 beats Coco? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> okay. Wiping the sweat away f- and moving on. A big a Bug's Life beats Ratatouille somehow. Inside Out beats Finding Nemo. Monsters, Inc. beats Cars. And The Incredibles beat Wally. Deep breath and onward. Toy Story 2 beats up. Fine. But A Bug's Life beating Inside Out, that's a hard disagree. And then Monsters, Inc. beating The Incredibles. The only good thing here is that Toy Story 3 beats Cars 3. Between those four, only Toy Story 2 and Monsters, Inc. survived. And then the finale movie, the best Pixar movie ever made, is supposedly Monsters, Inc. Hmm. We're left with Mulan versus Monsters, Inc. This is a woefully incorrect overall, but we all know the clear correct answer here is Mulan. But nope, Monsters, Inc. wins. (laughs) In the end, this bracket pushed me to the limit of human tolerance. It tested me, but I have emerged a more confident fan. And now we can all fill in the brackets for ourselves. So I wonder how where we, like if we the three of us did our own brackets without each other's input mm-hmm. what we would get i feel like we were pretty we, we would just pretty, differ we were pretty, yeah a little bit I this i pulled up a couple yeah. people's brackets i'll just tell you the, like the final two and then the final winner this person got to mulan versus toy story 2 and they picked mulan overall mulan i know ali pedro did strong. hers this and that's one where i found this yeah. thing from so um this person did beauty and the beast versus coco as their final. That's I mean, and uh Beauty and the Beast took it. Yeah, I would assume. I would hope. Wow. I'm shocked, right? Honestly. I wanted to bring up Allie's because she was pretty fired up about this today yeah, on Facebook. I, She's the one I saw the original post about. Excuse me. And then I looked into it further. But um she says that hers let's see, does she have this picture here? Her last, oh, sorry guys, this is so so low. She had Beauty and the Beast first, Coco. I could see that. Yeah. Wow. I could um, see that. What did you pick though, Allie? <laughs> she didn't put her final answer. It's Circle of Beauty and the Beast vers- versus Coco. So let us know, Allie, which one is right? better. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Isn't I'm that happy fun with though? Her decision though. I am too. Yeah. I mean, Lion King is really. I think Lion King like it. It's fair. Really, there is not. It is fair. It's It's fair. fair. It's fair. Overall, it's fucking tough. I picked. Now that I'm thinking about it, I picked Monsters Inc. over Toy Story. Is that that was the final two? Yeah, you guys were like Monsters Inc. and I was like, oh, oh right. You know what the problem is with that? (laughs) I still would have chose Lion King. No, no, no. It was Monsters Inc. over Finding Nemo. Oh yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 Finding Nemo was the one I was pushing for. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. It came down to Lion King versus Toy Story, right? Yeah. <sighs> you tough, guys let us know tough. what your top Though, two are. Though, if, we, if we separate the brackets and we have Lion King as top Disney and Toy Story top Pixar, fair. Totally fair. Fair. 100%. Right? Yeah. I th- we're all oh, on yeah. the same page. Yeah. When I think yeah. of like original Pixar movie, I think of Toy Story. That's Me like too. the only one that comes to my mind uh, right off the bat. And then after that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that one's also Pixar. Yeah. And, yeah. But Toy Story, that's the original. OG. And Lion King is one of the original, for us, generational Disney movies. So I get, that's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally happy with what we picked. Yeah, me too. That was fun. Let us know what you picked. I'm glad you guys chose that because I've seen that it was so fun. on social media. And I was Toy like, Story was the first Pixar movie. Oh, it was. Okay, mm-hmm. so then there you go. It's, it's yeah. well deserved. Came out in 95. Nice. Wow. It was Toy Story, Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, Ratatouille, Wally, Up, then Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, bleh. Oh, so I didn't bad. even I didn't, see that, I don't think. Um, Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory, Cars 3, and Coco was the latest. Well, got it. Upcoming ones, Incredibles 2, yeah. Toy Story 4. Really? Yep. And then they have one, two, three, four, five. I thought that was in the talks, but four, I they stopped doing five it. Five untitled films. Whoa. Wow. I have a whole, I have a DVD <gasps> of all Pixar shorts. Yeah. They're the best. They the are. Yeah, the shorts are really good. Yeah. Yeah, the shorts are really good. 
Whew, that was a fun topic. That was fun. That was and fun. I'm kind of glad that we both I had, had a feeling. It. I know. I had a feeling. Yeah, I was a, like, that's like a long. Yeah. Yeah. That was really fun, though. That was fun. What about you, Michelle? What uh, do you have for us? <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> non related. Gonna... It's like embarrassing, honestly. Oh, no, stop. let's fuck. I had a couple other topic ideas before I decided on this one, too. Me, so too. We... But I was like, this is the one. But I this, know. This I was is... like, I just felt like this would be fun that was to do. Perfect. Um, <laughs> fitting, fitting because we talked about DCOMs. You know, with Brian. Right. Now it's like right. Disney. Yeah, you know, no, it works. Right, right, right. In the, in the it my flows. birthday weekend. It flows. This is so much lighter and it's quick. So it's a good way to like wrap it up. Okay. Awesome. Did you guys know that French bread pizza is the food item of 2018? Is it? It's the food out of everything? It's just French like bread it, pizza. Yeah. It was apparently a thing in the 80s. Yeah, I mean, my my dad even still buys like the frozen French bread pizza. Which I asked, I don't my, know if I've had French bread pizza. My coworkers, I'm like, guys, eh. I'm reading all about this. If it was like, like garlic random, bread pizza, that would sound pretty good. But French bread, meh. and they're like, no, we didn't really eat a lot of French bread pizza. But it's quick and easy to make, and now I'm gonna make it on Friday. <laughs> oh, so I was okay. just curious if you guys oh. have ever heard of French I bread pizza. I never heard of it or had it. Making a comeback because it's super easy to prepare. They're saying you don't need to make your own dough and do all of that. Just Buy just buy a French bread loaf. Yeah. Cut it and you can add toppings and oh. cheese and all that. I mean, but then you could really do that with any, any bread. bread. Yeah, you could do, you could do it with Italian bread. Ooh, I non bread. Pita. Nice oh little garlic. I love bread. Pita. Make a little pizza. Pita pizza, pizza though. I, I used to yeah. I used to really be in some into some pita pizza. I found it really funny. It was like a headline. I was like, What? That's French weird. Bread pizza. And then I have another Please. that was just like a little Go I ahead. was really hungry, so when I looked that up. Have you guys heard of, did you see the trailer for the movie Tag? No. No. It has Ed Helms in it, and it has, uh, what's his face from New Girl, Nick? <laughs> oh, um, oh mm-hmm, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Renner. Yeah. Do you, have you Hawkeye. seen it? Hawkeye. Uh, I know, I saw Jeremy Renner promoting it. Did you see the story for this? I didn't. I have no idea anything about the movie. Okay. What's it about, Michelle? So, um, a group of friends have been playing the same game of tag for over 20 years. This is a true story. <laughs> oh, my God. And they went to a high school reunion. They reunited, and now they play this game of tag. And the rules of the game of tag is they can only play in the month of February. If someone tags you, you can't tag someone immediately immediately right after. And the third rule is you have to declare to the group that you're it. So oh, this damn. These group of friends. I'm surprised the Thursday crew doesn't play this. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> this sounds like something they would do. Definitely. Yeah. And so these group of friends throughout the year come up with different plans to tag people. One person did it at their friend's funeral. <gasps> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. One person snuck through his friend's house when he was sleeping to tag him. Oh, my God. And so Hollywood made a movie out of it. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's yeah. fun though. It is fun. I do yeah. want to now I want to see it. Yeah, me too. I feel like I might have like heard the preview in the background but thought that it was that movie Game Night. Uh, that, oh, yeah. yeah. The, all the couples compete against each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. This so, kind of seems similar to that. Yeah. That one's like rated R and it's probably like ridiculously stupid. But I think it actually has really good ratings. It does? I think it does. Hold on. I I'll mean, pull it up. I love Rachel McAdams mm-hmm. and Josh ba- uh Jason Bateman's always funny. Mm-hmm. He plays always the same kind of character. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, what's his name? John, whatever his wrestler guy. I, I heard a couple of people. Game Night has an 82%. And they it really does. liked it. Yeah. 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 All right, so maybe I'll go see it then. Yeah. When For comedy, that's episode. high. That's yeah. pretty good. But isn't that funny? A game of tag. It's been going on for 20 plus years. Yeah, that's that is really, really funny. funny. I just found that so amusing. I'm like, I could see our group of friends and hundred percent doing that. Hundred percent. We should do yeah. it. Hundred. Same rules. Same rules. It's hard because we all because all these people don't live in the same state. Oh, okay. So that's why they only play in February when they get together or something like that. But one guy said he flew like 800 miles to oh, tag sh- his friend because <gasps> he was that it, is and he's like, I did not want to be it anymore. Yeah, so he had to get rid of that. It's like the cone of shame. And then wow. you have a whole year, 11 months or so, to plan your revenge. So, like, let's say that person flew, tagged that guy. Now that guy... Cannot immediately tag. What's immediately? Yeah, like, what, 24 what hours? The, or? They didn't say a time frame in this article. I guess, like, they just say you can't re-tag you can't the re-tag, guy who right? just... Yeah. yeah. So, I guess that Maybe gives you time. Maybe a day or something. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds fun, though. Mm-hmm. I kind could of totally like when we were see our talking about, like, icing our friends. Right. That we <laughs> no, didn't do. This is yeah, even more okay. elaborate. <laughs> We should 
We should do that. We should still do that, though, and go yeah. over just for John and do it with Twisted Teas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for his birthday or something. Yeah. 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 Which is coming up. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. It is coming up. But that, those are my two short things, guys. <laughs> nice. That, um, I love those, though. Really important question. Who bit Beyonce? Who bit Beyonce? Uh, this is a, come on, guys. I told you it, Chris. I have to tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> really? Oh. Do you follow Chrissy Teigen on Twitter? No. She knows who bit Beyonce's face, but she's keeping quiet. This is a real thing that someone bit Beyonce's face and nobody knows who it was. Was it her children? <laughs> <laughs> Did her child... Ivy Blue get in the yeah, way. I'm sure, her children have bit her face before. I'm sure they have. Hmm. Please tell me about this. Beyonce yeah, I'm googling. Sorry, guys, bit. I got distracted by Twitter because I saw Argentina was trending and <laughs> they got crushed by Spain. Right? Fuck. Because Messi wasn't playing. Oh, sorry. Well, I won't bore you with soccer stuff. Okay. Uh, duh, duh, duh. let's see. I'm trying to just find it. How long has this been going on? This Beyonce bit? get bit? Not long. A couple days. Who bit Beyonce? It just says she was bitten in the face by an unidentified actress. Really? Right. So didn't it start because Tiffany yes. Haydish yeah. said that in a selfie that they took together, Beyonce was bit in the face by a celebrity actress, a female celebrity actress, right? Correct. Something like that? Yeah, that's that's what I read too. Now I'm just trying to like verify Do my facts. Do we see Beyonce's bite mark? Or this is just like hearsay that someone bit Beyonce's face. No, she just said it's someone bit her face and then Beyonce stormed away. Did you read that part? Uh, like Beyonce stormed away. and Right. So here I have some quotes. I Guys, I don't know how accurate this is. I literally just Googled. <laughs> um, so apparently she said, Tiffany, uh, so I said to Beyonce, did she really bite you? She was like, yeah. I was like, she going to get her ass beat tonight? <laughs> and she was like, Tiffany, no, don't do that. Um, that bitch is on drugs. She's not even drunk. The bitch is on drugs. She's not like that at all, all the time. Just chill. Whoa. Apparently. Yeah. So who, who was this woman who was on drugs that bit Beyonce like on the face? What are you doing that you get so close to Beyonce's face that you're biting her? What drugs? A you celebrity on? though. What drugs? Right. Who's what hanging drugs? out with them? Apparently, there's evidence that it was Sana Lathan. Oh. Don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> this woman? I don't know. She looks like Amorosa. <laughs> oh my Earlier today, Jezebel wrote about the ongoing discussion regarding who in the hell bit Beyonce's face at a Jay Z concert after party in December in 2017. Uh, while it's hard to know exactly which actresses were in attendance, sleuths pointed out that Sana Lathan was in attendance. She denied the claims in a cheeky tweet saying that she did not bite Beyonce and if she did do it, it would have been a love bite. Hmm. Ooh. But that, as we that know, convince yeah, me. Tiffany Haydish is a great loose lip storyteller. She sure as hell doesn't tell a story once and leave a sense of mystery to a situation. It's why... Well, I just got an ad. Fuck. <laughs> God damn internet ads. Wow, it just completely blocked Was me Beyonce from the site. photographed with many people well there was a self well there was a selfie that tiffany took with beyonce right and beyonce's it's like half of her face is hidden behind tiffany yeah so then i guess that's why tiffany was like oh she got bit in the face right like by some actress it's so so ridiculous ridiculous but between this and the bracket that was all it was up today yeah and well it was it was trending because yesterday because whenever i'm on lunch at work i go on twitter to do our like podcast stuff and i always see what's trending right and i saw beyonce was trending tiffany was trending and i was like oh my god what did tiffany say because didn't tiffany a couple months ago say something about beyonce and beyonce got pissed I don't know. Uh, Tiffany was at some party and I guess she was saying some things and she had to, s- apparently she, it came out that people have to sign like non-disclosures when they hang out with them or something. <laughs> I was God. like, girl, the Illuminati are going to uh, shun you from Hollywood if you keep talking about Beyonce. <laughs> like, drop it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Clearly. Sh- clear. Like, Tiff, I'm worried. Yeah. I'm worried about Tiff. I'm, I'm worried, worried about her. I'm worried about her. Like, something's going to happen. She got to chill. Yeah. She got to chill. Yeah. But she yeah. disappears, we know. Right? We know. Oh my God. Yeah. If she gets Ooh. quiet all of a sudden, we know. Or I hate to say it, like she right. quote unquote 
commit suicide or something. Like right. I, I don't want to. I know. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. But there's been, you know, conspiracies that those are things that happen. Mm. Full yeah. circle to this podcast. Full circle. Right. Listen to our conspiracy Aww. theory episode if you like conspiracies. I feel like that was like one of our first. It was like our second or third episode, right? Yeah, it was. It was pretty it was pretty up, new uh, for us. Maybe three or four or something like that. Four or five. I, don't know. I, I think don't know. that was I don't pretty remember. deep. In. Actually, I feel like we haven't been doing this podcast for very long. But then when you tell me that we this have is episode 25, that's a lot of episodes, 25 weeks. Yeah, we started in August. So yeah. it is well, a big, uh, it's a big amount. Do you guys have shout outs? Mm. We always have shout outs. What is my shout out this week? I know it's, it's hard. Um, I'm uh, shouting out <laughs> a sharpened pencil. Oh, there's nothing like I it. I love. Simp- I'm going simple this week, but at work today, I use a pencil to make appointments in the book, and I grabbed a fresh pencil and I got to sharpen. I it. love it. Nice. And just that nice point and that new eraser and the sound. The new eraser the sound, and you the sharpen. Smell. When mm-hmm. you have a good eraser, that's Th- a good day. That's also there's nothing because like if it. you have a bad eraser, that fucks up everything. It puts the, the smudges on you. You can't even erase anything mm-hmm. with it. I hate the f- like yep. fake, I call them fake erasers. Yeah. They just don't What's work. What's the point? Why do they make What them? is the point? Thank you. What is the point? What is the point? But that's my shout out. My simple shout out, sharp, sharpened pencils. Oh. What about you, Lissy? Um. Um. <laughs> Under pressure. Under pressure. Shout out. Shout out. Um, 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 I'll, do a, I'll do a podcast shout out. Okay. Okay. Started Female Criminals. Oh, you like it? By podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Um, the first episode uh, was actually a two-parter uh, about the cocaine godmother. Yes. Uh, Griselda Blanco. Oh. Uh, she was the biggest cocaine dr- um, drug lord in Colombia. And she was the one that trained Pablo Escobar. Like, oh, I have a shout out. Go ahead. Okay. I've got a one. Go, go. Oh, good one. Um, so this this podcast, uh, as you know, I love true crime. And they obviously it's called, you know, Female Killers. That it's going to go into all these crazy female criminals. And the next episode. The oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Due to the graphic nature. The next one is actually, I already know the story about this woman, the little old lady killer. Ooh. I know about her. She was a serial killer in Mexico who was also a lucha libre, and she would pretend to be a nurse, go to old ladies' oh, houses. Yeah, you told mm-hmm. us about uh-huh. that. She her. would go into their homes and then strangle them with a stethoscope <laughs> because she pretended to be a nurse and was like, I'll give you a free checkup. And then she killed them. Crazy. Psycho. So I'm excited to listen. Even though I already know the story, it's they tell take. it. It's the way they tell it. They go into like really good depth and yeah. stuff. So that's what I've been listening to. Very Aww. Ingrid. Very me. Very so. Ingrid. So my shout out. Um, if you like beauty YouTubers, I watch Kathleen Lights. I'm sure most of you, if you do, know who she is. And she rec- was recommended this drink from Starbucks from another beauty blogger who I don't watch, so I can't tell you her name, but it's the um, lime refresher and you put coconut milk in it. And it's so good that I saw it on her video and I was like, oh, mental note, next time I go to Starbucks, I want to get that. And my mom and I were in the mall and I was like, let's get one and like share it just in case we don't like it. And we get it and we like, she kept chugging it and I kept chugging it. We're like, where did it go? We loved it so much. And so then I've had three cents wow and it is delicious i mean there's sugar in the coconut lime refresh in the coconut it's the lime refresher but you just put a little splash of coconut milk in it and it's like it's like a mojito-ish smoothie kind of you, add, you add, them to add a splash yeah so i mean i order on the app because i don't like you know contact with other people Ew, so humans, I, gross. <laughs> I don't like humans so i order a grande lime refresher and then you can do the add-in so i just add in coconut milk I don't ask for if I go to order it in person, which I did do it once at the one in the mall. I just ask for like a splash, just a splash, and it's just a splash. It's delicious. It's very refreshing. Obviously, it's called a refresher, but now that it's gonna get warmer out, it's something to like you know hydrate you a little bit. Mm -hmm. So shout out to that from Starbucks. So I hope everyone goes and tries it if it's something you're into. It does sound good. It's good. Mm. 
yummy. I'm glad I thought about it because I wanted to tell you guys about it and then I forgot and then I just remembered. Don't you hate that? I got to start writing down when I think of something that I'm like really into. I got to just do that. I I got to make a little note of my phone because yeah, there's a lot of pressure when you have to think of a shout out. I literally wrote shout out sharp pencils. (laughs) Good. Because I have to just say it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, guys. That was fun. Good episode. Good, good episode. episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you watch more Disney and Pixar movies. Yeah. yeah. And let us know what your picks were. Let us know what your shout outs yeah. were. Yeah. Please do the bracket. I actually just posted it on Instagram. Good. Um, let us know if you fill out the bracket what movie ends up on top for you. And then we can discuss why you're wrong. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Let's please have watch a, Coco. Let's have a discussion. Please watch Coco. I have, um, I have some shout outs. I have one. One on shout Twitter, out of the week, and I have shout one out of on the week. Ooh, ooh, shout iTunes. out of the week. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, she's got two. Yeah, because uh, why not? When you have yeah. them, you say them. Duh. <laughs> of course, my app's just taking forever to load. Well, Come what's on, what's going on We're here? Extending. We our are. Giveaway. Yeah. Um. So hopefully, I put up a poll, and apparently, most of you guys listen to us on iTunes. Where are you at? So. Hello. If you're listening, leave a rate and a review. Make sure you click subscribe. That way, when the episode goes up, you get the alert and you see it right away that it's ready to listen and uh, help us out and help us hit those charts and share the podcast with your friends and etc. And then if you do so, you're entered to win a pair of Studio Sweden earphones. Headphones. Yeah. The Vlasabla in white right. and gold. Vlasabla. Don't you want to wear these beautiful headphones and be like, these are my Vlasabla? I was going to say, right. you could be, were they in Pitch Perfect too? Were they Swedish? Uh, ger- uh, were they German? <sighs> well, you can sound and look amazing like that. Right. Why not? Do it. <laughs> Fucking do I it. I wish I could see our subscribers. Right. Then I would just harass you all for a rating and a review. Right. Um, or just like take their phone and be like, we're doing it right now. Yeah. So if you have an iPhone, you go to the Purple Podcast app. It's got a little microphone picture on it. You click it. You search It Takes Three Podcast and you hit subscribe mm-hmm. and you rate five stars and you leave a little review. Simple. Why not? And then you grab your friend's phones and your you do family's it phones. Room. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend's phones, and you do the same thing, and you keep doing it. Your coworkers, your boss, just grab their just phones. Just keep doing it. Just if they ask what you're doing, just say, "Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's for a good it's cause." Okay. Just whisper. And just you're like gonna that. win me. Creep headphones. them out a little bit. Yeah, be like, "I really need headphones. Mine broke. Just let me do this." Okay, so here we go. My first shout out was a tweet that we got from Caitlin Moore at KM Moore Four. She tweeted at us, the DCOM episode of It Takes Three was goals. Hard eye, smiley face thing, you know. Um, <laughs> emoji, 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 emoji. Maybe a great follow-up topic would be Disney Channel original shows. She says, hashtag Disney Channel, hashtag the Jersey, hashtag Jet Jackson, hashtag so weird, hashtag in a heartbeat. I actually recently watched So Weird again on like YouTube. I found really horrible versions of it and I was living for it. I was trying to remember the episodes and do you guys remember So Weird? No. Oh, a little bit. Vaguely. It was about a girl and her mom is actually Mackenzie Phillips from Wilson, you know, Wilson Phillips, um, the mm-hmm. sister. Mm-hmm. Um, she was the mom and she was on a tour, like a wrote, she was a singer and she was on tour and she had her two kids on tour and the one kid was like very into sci-fi, the little girl, and she loved like experiment. Like um, it was kind of like um, an X Files kind of like yeah, sort of supernatural esque. So she would have each show would be about a certain thing. So one episode would be like there was a fire in this building, and then she found the ghost, and or yeah, there was like uh, a mummy. It's I remember, like very, yeah, I remember it now. But I watched like the all of the first season, and Eric Von Denton, who full circle was in Brink, Disney Channel original movie, Decom, Decom was in it as well, and he was so 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 cute, and I had such a crush on him. I mean, to this day, I still have a crush on Eric Von yeah. Denton. He's so adorable. But um, yeah. So thank you for tweeting at us and thank you for liking that episode. (laughs) Thank you. Um, And I have another shout out from iTunes. Sweet. Their username is Dr. Rules the World. Hell yeah. They say Michelle, Liz and Ingrid are hilarious and have great chemistry together. It is always entertaining no matter what subject they are talking about that week. Everyone should be listening to this podcast and their other one 
to <coughs> Tree Hill. Tree Hill. Thanks, Dr. Rule. Um, Thanks, Dr. Rule yeah. World. If you like One Tree Hill, we do have a, another podcast called Tree Hill Talk. Uh, we watch and review One Tree Hill. We're on season eight currently. Wow, we just hit it. over 100,000 listens oh, over there oh. as well. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, so I guess that wraps up for It Takes Three this week. Yay. Um, happy hump day. We're almost there. I we can't got believe this. we're almost done with March. We're almost March Hell over. yeah. I'm ready for March to go. Anyone else? It's I'm just crazy. Just like, I can't believe Easter is going to be Sunday. I need spring. I yeah. need Sunday's warmth. Sunday's Liam's 12th birthday. <gasps> yeah, April Fool's. Happy That's birthday, right. Liam. is that fitting? His birthday is April Fool's yes, Day? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Very fitting. He requested pirate hats, so that's what I'm Oh, uh, we're here to deliver. He <laughs> pirate uh, themed birthday. So him Follow and Sully. Liam not? on yes, Instagram. Look forward to that. He'll At be Mr. Liam the Cat. That's on right. Insta. That's yep. right. So cute. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. So cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> we haven't said it the whole podcast. It's because we don't it's do that. We, we don't, don't do, do that, that here. here. We, we do don't do it here. Talk. If you know what we're talking about, you're an OG subscriber, and thank you so much because you listen to Tree Hill Talk. Hashtag so cute. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. 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 Bye